All right, good morning. My name is Nancy Irwin. I am the Access Technology Specialist with the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind. And um, I should start out by saying that I'm, I'm visually impaired. So if my head ends up in the video, my apologies. Um, I've got a mount attached to my desk. So it's gonna be sort of above my head. Um, I'm gonna be briefly talking about the app for score. If you've seen the other video, it was 28 minutes long and it really doesn't need to be that long. So brevity is a skill. Anyway, so um, this app is actually on my work iPad. It is a brand new app. I literally just had it installed yesterday. So this is gonna be a really good opportunity to show what it looks like from the very beginning for anyone first time using the app and trying to set it up for a student that wants to use Reflow. So I am gonna open the app and we will see where we end up. I'm probably gonna use a combination of voiceover and Zoom for this just because this is what I typically use. So first time you're in the app, this is what you get. It just says four score. And it also shows you the various gestures you can use. Um, you know, this is how you turn pages. And then it also shows you different areas of the screen that you can tap on and sort of what they do. Um, I'm gonna move through this stuff. It kind of just shows what the music looks like. And the reason I'm moving so quickly is because you can take the time yourself to navigate that stuff. So it says, the big thing I looked for and I just zoomed in was open menu. So um, we kind of don't really need that because we don't have any scores that we're gonna import right now. But what we do need is, Sorry about the dog in the background. Is the menu over here in the top right corner. Some people call this the suitcase. Some people call it a toolbox. I don't really know what it looks like, but I'm gonna go to it and we're gonna tap on that. And where we are going is we're going down here to accessibility. And mine is really big. Yours is not going to be this big. So we're gonna go to settings because that's where we need to be. And then, so we do not have Fourscore Pro. You don't need Fourscore Pro. This is built directly into the app from the very beginning. So we're gonna go down here and find, uh, let's see, appearance, theme. There's all kinds of things you can change. You can change it to dark mode if your student likes that better. You can use an Apple Pencil with this. I like it for that. The main thing I wanted was accessibility. And so in here, uh, you can, you know, you can drag and drop things. There are contextual menus. Really the main thing I'm in here for is full screen or uh, reflow. I am also gonna turn on full screen menus just cause it makes it easier. And I don't have to try to find everything else. Um, Link buttons, those are things for like repeats. I'll be honest with you, I haven't quite figured out how those work in Reflow. Um, a tool that everybody suggests, and there's a re there's a really awesome uh, Fourscore users group on Facebook that I get a lot of tips from. And a lot of folks don't actually recommend using repeats. What they actually recommend you do is you just add a new page using the arrange feature. And that's pretty simple to use. So there's metronomes and all kind of other fun things, but really that's the main thing I wanted was um, reflow. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to get a piece of music and add it to the app here. So give me just a second to get my iPad and my personal iPad and import a piece of sheet music into Fourscore and we can see what that looks like. So I will be right back.